So I'm getting ready to go ride my board for a bit and then I'm gonna go to Barnes and Noble to do some studying. And uh, I just wanted to share some stuff today because I felt inspired. I was getting ready. I was putting on my pineapple shirt this morning. And I was just full of joy. A lot of, a lot of great things have been happening in my life, in the markets, and just relationship wise. And a, a, a new place to live has popped up that I might be moving here. And I've been feeling blessed and I've been feeling good. And I wanted to share this with anybody that maybe is just anywhere in life where you feel like you're struggling, where things aren't making sense. And I wanted to give you my testimony really quick. Since I was a kid, I lived in Murray, Utah, and we'd always go to church as a family. There was a nearby church. And all I really remember was a lot of waving old people. I was pretty young and people asking my birthday, but they were friendly and kind and they were bringing us into the community, okay? And family life was good. Our family would pray every night and uh, we were very on guard. We wouldn't just let anything into our house. My dad was strict, you know, with what movies would be put on. And we just tried to keep, we tried to keep the family traditional and, uh, and things were good. And uh, life brought us to a new place in Minnesota. Once we got up here, I had no interest in going to church. I don't know why, I think it was just, I just was, I loved to sleep in and I, I just wouldn't, wasn't very spiritually minded. So I stopped going in eighth grade. And, you know, sure enough, you know, all the music, all the movies, I would listen to see their, I'd listen to like Three Days Grace and it sounds like, oh yeah, it sounds nice, you know, as a teen, as rock or whatever. But you, you, you print out the list of the lyrics and it's, I'm not good enough. Oh, I'm, you know, becoming an animal, just like all this like negativity. And so that's how they kind of war, that's how they rap music. You know, they rap it in a beat that sounds catchy. And then the lyrics are just straight from hell, man depression, self-doubt, just I'm not good enough, just very negative mindset. And so I went down that path. I quick went to church, I jammed up the music. I would watch, we would watch Jeepers Creepers in the house and the guard in the house was let down. And so, so we just were slowly going down our descent and family ties got hard, money got tight. And things just really went downhill. And, you know, as I was getting ready this morning, I was thinking about how things are uphill. It feels like I'm a little kid right now. It just, I feel like everything's going just up and it feels great. And uh, relationships are being good, um, being mended. You know, financially, God has provided, not for free, you know, the bird still has to leave the nest every day and go find a worm. Nothing's being handed out for free, but my skills and my talents have, have, have given me, you know, provision and it's given me enough that I can feel confident that I can continue to walk this path and provide for myself and one day my family. And um, so things are looking really good. And I just wanted to make that connection that if you're somebody that is trusting your own strength, and you're trying to live by the world and you're trying to listen to the world stuff, the movie stuff, have relationships like the world, have friendships like the world. You're, it's not going to go well. And maybe it will for you. I don't know. It didn't go well for me. I was at my bottom just breaking into cars. I was just doing drugs, drinking, cheating, just everything you could imagine. And it left me completely empty and void. And it wasn't until I gave my life back to God and I said, look, God, everything I was taught as a, as a kid, if you're real and it's true, you show me that it's real. Show me that you're real and that it's true. And I cannot deny it. My life has improved a thousand times in every way since that moment. There are times where I fell. There's times where I struggled. There's times where I sinned. No doubt about it. But my life is on an up trajectory and it feels so good. And I, I just want anybody that feels like that, young and old, like maybe you walked away from the faith. Maybe people at church didn't treat you right. All I'm saying is it's a one-on-one -on -one relationship. I haven't been to church actually in, in months, 
but every Sunday and every day I think about God. I don't do repetitive prayers. Every day, even this morning, I was just tearing up. You know, I was riding my board last night, hands up. I just, I think about God all the time because I'm so grateful. That's only till you're at the very bottom and you know what it's like at the top that you are truly grateful and that my heart just bursts out. It just bursts out because I know what it's like to eat with the pigs, man. To be alone, to eat with the pigs. And then thinking that God would never use someone like that. God would never bless someone like that. God would never renew someone like that. And I just, <laughs> with all the good news in my life right now, <laughs> I just want to give him all the glory. And I want to say anybody that feels like, hey, you know what? I'm over here. I'm feeding the pigs and I want to eat some of the pig food. <laughs> you don't have to. Your God is on the throne, dude. The God is on the throne God can change your circumstances. God can get you connected again. God can get you shining again. And you won't be able to do it on your own. Even if you're addicted, even if you're struggling, bad habits, whatever it may be, you know, God can pull you out of that. But you gotta take that one step of faith. Today, if, you, if you've just been backsliding, if you've just been not concerned about God, take one step toward Him. Just take one step. Say one prayer today on your way to work or on your way to the park or wherever. Say, God, if you can hear me, help me. Show me the way. And He will show you the way day by day by day. And um, that's my testimony. And I hope, I hope it changes somebody's life. I hope it changes the way one person thinks. And uh, that's me doing my part to bring, to sow seed for the kingdom of God. And I know that I will be rewarded for it. And it feels really good to help other people, man. Like, sometimes I'm just so full of joy that that it's, it's, it's hard for me to translate that and help other people. And I'll give you an example. I was in a Goodwill shopping. You know, that's where I bought this shirt. And as I looked around, the Holy Spirit showed me and I was in the goodwill and the music that was playing in the in the store was like I am not beautiful or something like I'll never be beautiful I was just like looking around like who would ever want to listen to this and just let this flood over your spirit and I know sometimes music could be jokey and artistic or whatever but this wasn't that this was this was weird and as I looked around the store I saw the slaves, man. I, I really looked around and I, I saw the the burdened. I saw the heavy laden. And I saw I saw the depression there. And I felt for the people there. I was like, how could I translate my this joy that God gives to other people? And I didn't have to do anything. The next thing I knew this guy was talking to me. People were just came around me and they started talking to me and I was laughing and trying to share that joy and I did and other next thing I knew a lot of people were smiling and happy and laughing and you know God calls us to be a city on the hill and I don't fully understand what that means but you should you should shine you should shine for God that's that's all I know that it means shine for God and and let God do it I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to translate how I feel all the time and how to help other people find God. But, you know, maybe you don't have to do anything just like God to do it. But anyways, it's getting hot in my truck and I got to get rolling. But I wanted to share my testimony no matter what today. And even if it gets one view, no likes, that's okay. Because that one person, it might help. Take care.